Yo, 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 what the fuck is up, man? It's John in the motherfucking house with Dope Talk TV Networks. Thank you for watching, guys. I have a special guest here in the house. It's my fucking dog, Adam. What's up, guys? Give a round of applause for him. Cut the music out. What the fuck is up, bro? Welcome. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. How you been? How's your day going? I'm good, man. It's uh, some hot weather out there. Beach day. Bro, I've been I've been peeling, man. I went to the springs on Sunday. Um, I went to the beach on Friday. I'm like peeling so bad, man. I have like baby skin, dude. Like, You're white. I'm a white. I'm Norwegian, bro. It's a Norwegian to me. Yes, sir. Fucking, uh, I just light up, bro. I just had, I got a blunt in my hand. I got my fucking, what are we, what are we drinking? Crown vanilla. Crown vanilla, bro. He drinks it straight. Neat. When did you start drinking, bro? Oh, shit. Uh, well, if my daughter's watching, I was 21. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, honestly, I started drinking young, man. We were, we were still in our parents' drinks. They would have uh, house parties. Yeah. And we would sneak in there and uh, steal drinks. We were, I was like 11. 11? Yeah, dude. And I... Skip school, I think it was seventh grade. So seventh grade, I would have been 12. And uh, it was me, my brother, and my cousin. And bro, we, <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we got into my mom's uh, tequila. And we just poured on um, like some solo cups. Yeah. Like almost to the top, like half full. And we're like 12, 13 years old. And bro, after an hour, I was passed out. My my cousin was passed out with his feet hanging out of the bathroom, bro. It was we were twelve, we were young, but you were drinking young. Yeah, yeah. I started drinking young, man. I, I started drinking around like fourteen, fifteen years old. But I, I think it's good though, because I got a lot of that out of my system. Exactly. Like by the time I was twenty one, I was bro, most of it was out of my system already. I had already by the time I was twenty one, dude, I probably drank a thousand times. Damn. You know, like from from like 14 on, like we, we had a, a lot of house parties at my house. Like that was, we played poker, a lot of poker and just drinking. Just drinking all the fucking time, bro. And you know what's crazy is that like I did a lot of drinking throughout my years. And like the conversation pops up with drinking, right? With people that I know. Like I know a lot of people that just stop drinking because of, you know, certain, certain reasons, maybe religious, maybe religious reasons. Maybe, uh, you know, personal reasons. What's your opinion on alcohol with people that, like, you know, they run away from their problems? Is What's your opinion on that? Oh, man. Because I feel like we all have. I feel like we all drank because we were sad. I think people drink for a lot of different reasons, you know. I think people drink because they're sad. I think people want to forget things. I think some people drink uh, emotional pain, mental pain. Uh, some people drink because they're, they're, I think they're self-destructive. That's true. Do you feel like people have like demons in them? Do you feel like, oh yeah, like when they drink, like the real, the truth comes out? Like, I feel like alcohol, it it, it removes filters. It it does other. I think it adds on to people, but it also it takes away filters that we that we place right on like how we how we talk and how we interact with people. That's why it's like never good to drink around your boss, right? Or get drunk around your boss. Dude. So um, don't get don't get drunk around your boss. That's the realest fucking. One hundred. Yeah. That's the realest shit, bro. Yeah. Bro, do not drink around your boss. There is some shit with Fifty Cent that I heard. I, it was actually an audio book, so it's a book, right? I don't know if you read it. It's the the Fifty Cent like just came out. You can't listen to the audio book anymore because uh, they did the copyright shit. So you have to actually buy it. Yeah. But he goes, he says, hey. If you if you have alcohol like if you have alcoholism in, in your family, that shit is hereditary, bro. Yeah, I think it though, I think it I think it's hereditary more than just like DNA wise. I don't think it's just genetics. I think it's it, it depends it, on the person, right? It's how we're taught too. Yeah, it's how what we're taught. We see. It's what we see growing up. And that I think is more important than genetics. Like if you see your parents dealing with with, with certain situations in a certain way. That's how you've learned to deal with that situation. You don't know any different. You don't know any different. You only know, I mean, you don't know what you don't know. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't know what you don't know. That's, that's the thing that 
it, that should drive everyone to be more humble. You know that there's a paper I, I like to. I need I need to, I need to remember the guy's name, but yeah, it was a, a science paper. I read a lot of them. Um, I think it was in like the early teens, but he did a study on all of scientific research, all the papers that have been published in the past. And it turns out that science is 80% wrong. Holy shit. So how? It, how? That's a lot of like assumptions. So There's facts are one. really not facts. Facts are still well, opinions. A lot of them are. I mean, they're not really, they're, they're mostly based off assumptions. Like a lot of people have heard about dark matter. Like, yes. Do you know about dark matter and how dark matter came to be a theory? No. This, y'all can look this up. I mean, I think it's hilarious. When I learned this, I was, I was floored. So uh, you, they look up in the sky, right? And you see galaxies. And a galaxy is, uh, they can calculate the mass, right? It's got X mass. And based off of the mass and how fast it's spinning, if it's spinning too fast, think of like you uh, spinning like a, a wet towel, right? The water flings off. There's not enough. There's not a grip. Yes. Okay. So if there's not enough mass and it's spinning too fast, what should happen? All the stars should just fling off in outer space, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they see. They see that these galaxies are spinning far too fast for the mass that they calculate. That could be inside of the black holes like yeah i mean they exist they're just they're just super duper dense uh people, super dense objects that light can't escape mm -hmm. that's just how they're the gravity is too strong but the dark matter so because they're spinning too fast they say thus because they're spinning too fast there must be matter that we cannot see instead of saying maybe our assumptions are incorrect maybe our calculations are wrong they just add stuff into it do you feel like there's a lot of stuff on earth that we can't see with our own eyes that they're that there's like they say that the eye can only catch like a certain percentage of what we can actually see that there's a lot more yeah like the electromagnetic band okay. is if the electromagnetic band is like you know x long we can see a sliver the visible the visible light that we can see is a about, you know the earth being flat you know what i mean uh i, I don't i don't think it's flat man i don't just think be honest man just be honest man because uh, i think the world is not flat i don't think it's flat like no no it's it's a sphere i think that the reason that flat thing took off and it, it was at the mid-teens it really took off is because there are some anomalies and there's there's people that they're able to with youtube videos make these slight anomalies into really big things that are convincing yeah like one thing about data is people love to, to quote data and data this data this but um my, my my dad when i was a kid taught me a a valuable lesson and what he did is he, he told me two sets of stats like i was big into baseball right me and my brother had a lot of baseball cards growing up. We used to trade all the time, but um, he showed me two two sets of stats. Okay, one set of stats you look at and you're like, man, that's that's the worst baseball player ever. Like, how could he even be in the in the majors? Okay, and you look at the other stats, you're like that's the best player ever. He was, that must be Babe Ruth, right? Yeah. And you find out it's the same person. It was the same person. You can you can pick and choose points from stats to make anything you want to be true that's how science is there's so much distrust in science now because i think of that so so when it comes to you know religion and and science it's totally two different things like you mm. know what do you think what do you think about that do you think it's two different things or do you feel like it's all the same i think terminology is important right yeah like, um so what is religion what does religion do for us these are things that you have to ask yourself. So to me, what a religion is, it's a, it's a set of ideals. Uh, it's a moral compass. It's, it's something that you believe um, that you believe is how you're supposed to live your life according to a higher power. Yes. Or a higher intelligence, a higher something. All that can be looped into um, 
religion. Yeah. It's, it's how, it's what is driving me to conduct my life and how I conduct my life. That's my religion, right? Yes. Okay. Is how is science different from that? Yeah. Does not science do that very same thing for us? Yeah. Does not science tell us how to get correct answers, how to, how to find truth? That's what they claim, right? That's the claim. That's, that's what the world believes. Yeah. We all love science, but like I said earlier, 80% is wrong. And um, knowing things is different from like wisdom. You can know you can know everything in the world, but if you don't know what to do with it, what's how's it going to serve you? Yeah. The sky is blue. Yeah. So what? How's it going to change anything, right? But wisdom is taking all these facts and making sense out of them, and applying them in a way that I think it doesn't have any holes in it. You know what I mean? Like it, it stands up to every every angle you look at, every perspective. That's true. I think all truth is is impervious. You don't need to defend truth. You just got to let it go, right? Because um, real truth, no matter how you look at it, it's all going to point to the same thing. That's an, that's that's insane, man. If you think about it. It points to the truth. All, all truth points to itself. Like, uh, I need an example. Do you feel like the truth will come out regardless? Do you feel like everything that's done in the dark is going to come to light? I mean... Um, depending on the perspective you're looking at, I mean, God's perspective, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, us, no. I don't think that, you know, there's going to be things that people are going to hide from us our whole lives. We're, there's probably, for sure, there's famous people that have died that are being, you know, idolized that have done really bad things that we've never heard of, I believe. I believe so, too. So. That's true. Um, Amen. Um, and, and when it comes to, like, I feel like, our cultures are very different. I've been all over the world, man. I've been to Norway. I've seen different cultures. I've, I've been to Germany. You know, I've been to all, most of the islands in the Caribbean just because of my dad. You know, my dad was, you know, he's an engineer. He worked for Norwegian Cruise Line, and he actually is Norwegian. He lives in Norway. Yeah. So growing up, I would go to Norway every every summer. I was baptized in Norway, and Kevin was baptized in Norway. That's sweet, dude. Yeah, so the, the whole culture is in, and, and the way people live are totally different. What's your opinion on, you know, the Western culture and the Western women? Oh, Western culture. Um, and this, this, is a, this is another weird one, right? This is one of them things that if you really stop and you think about it, it doesn't make sense. It kind of it, it kind of like it's like one of those. Yeah. So like every I don't know about you, but everyone that I've read about that is everyone that I've read about that has been on their deathbed pretty much has the same type of um, reflection on their life, right? I should have spent more time with the people I love. You know, if they were rich, they always regret spending all that time, making all that money. And what it all boils down to in the very end is the only thing that matters is relationships. It's, it's, it's human interaction and human relationships. And it's funny because I, I did read a, a science paper uh, about a year ago, claiming how how beneficial it is for people to give. Like it's it's really beneficial to you mentally and emotionally to give to. People. It feels so good when you give to people. Yeah, and you, I mean, you know it feels better when no one knows. It's like, genuine. Otherwise, you're doing it for uh, false reasons. Right? You're doing it just just so people. Yeah. Can you see. ever see those people that actually record themselves and they're doing like a good deed, and it's like, bro, like I didn't really need to see that. You know, it's like you, you're generally like you're, you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it for other people to think that you're a good person. Yep. And, um, oh, you know, in the Bible, Jesus, for example, talked about that a lot. He talked about like when you fast, you know, don't don't um, don't wear a, a sour face to have a, to be clean, to always don't don't pray in front of other people. If you want to pray to the father, he says, go to your closet. Like, yeah. There's there's a lot in there that I think even the church has missed. You feel like a lot of these churches are like corrupt in their ways? Do you feel like it's more profit? And also one more question, bro. Do you feel like these churches around the world, you know, most of them don't pay taxes? How do you feel about these churches not paying taxes as well? Everyone has their opinion. Like the like I got my real estate license, right? And my instructor, 
we did an online class and he he didn't believe that you know because he feels like most of the churches can be done at the house at the home and and you guys get taxed at your home yes. what if somebody's church is their house so like you know they're i mean if, if they're if they're not being taxed they're obviously beholden but in some ways the government right there's certain rules that they have to abide by okay um per the government yeah so who's their daddy then if you're looking at it like that their daddy's the government so how i grew up in a church and yeah i mean like i have personal friends that stop going to church because of corruption and you know i know people that really read the bible daily that really like i'm not a person that's like oh like i read the bible daily i should i really should but i feel like i i don't know i just feel like i'm just dibble dabbling you know and that's kind of like you know i shouldn't really speak about it that's why i ask other people's opinion that really you know actually read the bible and actually read it mm -hmm. um the bible's funny man you can i i read it uh i read it twice front to back before i was 35 years old and uh probably like another three more times like just picking around you know yeah and um i've i've uh my old boss used to tell me he said adam you know more useless shit than anybody i know <laughs> I, i'm good at trivia right he said yeah <laughs> that's but good I, I, would, I would tell him like, rick man like it's like a puzzle man like think of this giant freaking puzzle right yeah these little pieces they're all up there and there's a lot of space still and i can't see the picture yet but i'm, I'm starting to make a picture like all these little pieces they make a picture but i was i ended up being 35 and um dude i didn't understand nothing i had like i said you can know everything you can know all kinds of facts and but for it to make sense of them that's an entirely different thing that's that's i feel like there's a real big difference from like listening and reading to really comprehending things yeah there's uh it's knowing it and knowing it is experiencing it you can only know something if you experienced it it's like a heartbreak yeah like you can you can read about anything but until you've actually experienced it it's different before you've experienced it you're a believer you believe it it's not an experience yet. do you yeah. feel like ghosts are real uh, people had their experiences ghosts. they've seen it firsthand some people haven't look so you know this is a i think this is a I think this should be a simpler topic because I, I feel like it's super simple, right? I, like, yeah. Well, I feel like I've understood it for a long time because it's, um, if, if you believe in the Bible, you, you have to believe in, in demons. Exactly. Correct. Okay. So a demon is it's spiritual, which means that it can, it can embody several different forms. It, it can, it can manipulate how it looks. Yeah. Right. So let's say there's a demon in here right now listening to us talk and then, you know, I die, you know, God forbid I die today. And then tomorrow, like you have a, a, a vision of me talking about something that only you and I talked about off camera and you're like, Oh, that must be Adam. Yeah. But what if it was just a demon pretending to be me? Cause it was just watching us. Ooh, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't understand how people can believe just because it looks like it and it knows stuff doesn't like I don't understand it's not biblical either like any I think once once we die we uh we're asleep we sleep until uh judgment day oh till judgment day yep. and I that's mean, and and that's that's what I mean like when whatever is done in the dark like you're gonna have to deal with that with God that's that's kind of like what I mean too is like you don't have to deal that you don't have to deal with that like and on earth it's not going to happen on earth it's the day when you know you're in judgment day where yeah. it's like listen like you did that you did this i feel like a lot of people too you didn't you didn't accept god in your heart a lot of people don't and people mock god oh dude people. bro people mock god so much bro and and that's the crazy thing and it's all in our songs it's all in our music it's 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 literally everywhere there's people that there was a one of my boys i'm not going to say no names at all because you know i respect him a lot he's my brother um but he knew someone that mocked god and it hurt his heart you know because he passed away young and he didn't know god and it and, and it hurt him you know we we're tripping on mushrooms and and he doesn't do any of that anymore but you know we've done it we all have done it right and the truth comes out and it's like man like it's crazy 
out of all the things you thought about, you thought about your cousin not knowing God. Well, you know, that's that's the thing. You know, a lot of people say, um, I believe, I believe, I believe in Jesus. And, but why, you, you have to act like you believe. But why do why do people before they're about to die? And my boy made a good point. He said, he said, John, why, why do people before they pass away? They're like, God, please, God, God, please. No, God, please. It's because I think I believe we all know. We all know deep down that there's something, there's something else. There's something else. like, what is it? I don't think that there's, a, that we don't get that inkling, that feeling, but I think we all have that feeling that there's something more. It's, there's something more than meets the eye. Right. Yep. And it, there's, there's all kinds of evidence of that, you know, um, ESP, like you ever, you ever, not think about someone for for months, right? And then you think about them, and then five seconds later, the phone's ringing. The phone's and ringing, and we're like, "Man, that's the craziest shit." That shit happens to me all the time, bro. Okay, so all the time, people with science, a lot of science would say that that's coincidences, but I don't think so because I don't just randomly think about people like that. I feel like we're all blue. Con- we're all connected. There is a connection, right? And Ooh. we're all one so we're not one but there's there's a connection there is everything influences everything right so yeah um like quantum quantum physics is something that i've really i took a, a big like fascination with when i was younger and i i kind of stayed with it uh took a few years off from like following it but recently i started following it again and uh you know, you ever heard of entanglement? Yes. Okay. So entanglement, basically, right? You got, I've heard of it. You got two particles, right? They're separated by X distance. Okay. Okay. So um, the like what you're seeing, you're seeing me right now is the past because the light is takes the light. The light that you're seeing from me takes like you know a micro, a, whatever the freaking picosecond is. Yeah no time at all but it's still it's still a delay okay so but when two particles are entangled uh whatever happens to one happens to the other instantly like it doesn't matter the distance so like it 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 breaks physics like how how can it be that information is is transferred between two objects over a vast distance instantaneously that's not that flies in the face of all physics um what i think is we're three-dimensional right yeah okay so a three-dimensional object like you and i we're just a bunch of two-dimensional planes right just think of a bunch of two-dimensional planes stacked up right that's three-dimensional right yeah correct because you got length width and depth so if you're a two-dimensional being Right, but then you're a two-dimensional being on a piece of paper, like you're on a plane, right? You know forwards, backwards, left and right, but you don't even you can't even conceptualize up and down, right? So now look, you're on this you're on this plane, right? And you're gonna see, let's say that I was to pass through your plane, my hand, right? You would see three objects, right? So you would say those are three different objects. Yeah. But then what happens, they would converge into one object. Remember, you're only seeing a sliver at a time. But it would converge into one you're, object. You're on a plane. Uh, you're looking left, left and right, forwards and backwards. You cannot conceptualize up and down. So if something was to pass through your plane, your visual plane, like this, right, you would see two or three objects and it would converge into one object. Big hand, you know, my wrist, whatever. But my point, my point is... If that were to happen, another dimension, something of another dimension passing through your field of sensory, you can sense it visually, auditory, whatever. In a one object, be like you're going to be completely befuddled on what that what it is. Like, you're going to have no way of knowing that it's one object. But all along, it's been one object. See what I mean? But because it's in another dimension, you have more information. You have you have a better picture of what the truth is. Mm. But we're limited. We're limited to certain things. We're very limited. You remember when you were a kid, when you woke up, when you came into consciousness, when you were like, listen, like, 
kind of just snapped out of it. You're like five, six years, five, six years old. And you're like, you look That's at your memory. fingers, you look at your fucking fingers. You're like, you're like, wait, what, what are these? What, what am I? What is that? Yeah. What is this? Holy shit. Like, like, what are we, bro? Yeah. I think I was like, like five when it really hits you and you're like, what was, the fuck are we for like, me? Like, like, I, like, it was like, why like, am I breathing? Wait, why am I designed like this? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I like this? Like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? Like, you don't remember that when you were a kid? Like, that is the craziest thing. For me, it was breathing. It's like, I get, like what, what am yeah. I breathing? I need yeah. this to live. And every, <laughs> every few seconds, I have to take a breath. Like, what if this runs out? Yeah. And I'm just, I'm just going to die. Like, bottles of air and shit. 